developments tonight on Cambridge Analytica, the firm that worked for the Trump campaign and tried to influence American voters using information harvested from 50 million Facebook users. Facebook is under growing pressure to explain how it'll protect Americans' personal information from people wanting to exploit it for electoral gain. Tricked by terms and conditions, data analytics firm that harvested information from millions of Americans without their permission. The scandal involves a data gathering firm called Cambridge Analytica. The hashtag delete Facebook has been trending on social media. This kind of idea of, of free content and free everything on the internet somehow created this situation that we have now that, that, that basically everything is free but the business model is it's hidden somewhere. We are thinking about you know, resource, labor, product. But nowadays, users are all three things in the same time. So every time when we are doing something online, when we are browsing through the net, when we are clicking, when we are writing the, the, the comment or blog post or, or tagging someone on, on the picture, we are basically doing a labor for someone, in this case for Facebook. And then in the same time, we are again the product. So, two years ago, we had Brexit and uh, elections in the United States. Uh, in both of those occasions, Facebook was somewhat blamed for, for the outcome. What do you think the impact was, and how do you think Facebook got the possibility to even impact such strong democratic processes? We are now suddenly speaking about this uh, Facebook as something that appeared now like a problem, like in the last one or two years because of American elections. and. and and Brexit, but, but basically there is the same same model, same story exists for like now, I don't know how many years, 10 years now. And then a lot of attention was on uh, uh, Cambridge Analytica as one little evil company that, that do some kind of strange things and collecting data and everything. But basically the, the story behind that is that, that Facebook is one big Cambridge Analytica. So it's not about Cambridge Analytica doing something strange, doing something extraordinary. It's more like they were allowed to do that in the same way that hundreds and hundreds of other companies are doing that. So the, the core problem is that business model behind Facebook is doing the same thing as Cambridge Analytica. So we, we are facing a lot of uh, uh, layers of untransparency and it's really hard to, to investigate all of this. However, we managed to hack one of those layers in a way uh, through the patents that Facebook had published. Probably it's not a new way to investigate, but for us in that moment it was a new. It's to try to, to seek for the answer in, in, in some of the patents that were like publicly available. And they gave us some hints into how this mosaic of data collection, data analysis and, 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 and product look like. So, how does Facebook essentially work? It, it, it's maybe too much to, to ask like a human being. I think also like within Facebook there is not probably no one who really understands how these things work completely. But it is important to try to, to investigate and to, and to try to put the light on, on as much as it possible different details of, of this like opaque uh, uh, structure. So first part it's a data collection, the second part is storage and the third part is creation of product. So in the data collection part we have like one inter-global galactic uh, way of collecting data from everything that exists online. So basically if we speak about for example websites on like more than 50% of the websites that we are visiting there are some form of cookies that are embedded in the code. So even people who are not on Facebook, y'all like yourself, do give away their data to Facebook. Sure, sure. There is like few different technologies how they do that. For example, every like button, it's a tracker. 
Uh, there are some, for example, uh, invisible uh, uh, fields like, for example, pixels that are embedded into the, the web pages. And every time when you open some page, this pixel is basically calling the Facebook uh, server and then giving like your IP address and so on and so on. But also like, like one huge data collection operation is done through the, the mobile phones. And if we think how many different permissions we are giving to, to different applications, we will see that there are like hundreds and hundreds of different types of data being collected. So it's not just uh, information about, I don't know, your location. It's also like call logs, who did you call, for how long, also access to a lot of different types of data, like for example, access to your microphone, to your camera, and then now there is some kind of like a new wave of, uh, it's not conspiracy theory, but more or more so like a mysticism about how Facebook now hears a lot of things. But basically we are giving them a right to do all of this. So all of this becomes one huge pool from where they are able to extract a lot of uh, data and to transform this into databases. And then we did like a research how this databases looks like and this is like probably one of the, the most interesting part is social graph. It's type of the map, let's say, that is connecting everything that we do or create on Facebook. So you as a user, you are one node. And then you upload one picture, this picture becomes another node. It's, it's interconnecting millions and billions and billions of different events, nodes, people, comments, pictures, everything into one map. And this map is a main uh, source of power. And then this map becomes some kind of like a playground or resource or landscape for different algorithms, different mathematical functions, different artificial intelligence processes, different machine learning systems. They are trying then to go through this landscape and try to extract as much as it possible different meanings. Your emotions, who you are, how do you behave, and then trying again to, to create a new knowledge about you and to try to pack you as a, as a product. It's like probably the biggest map and the biggest knowledge database that exists nowadays in the world. We see the numbers now, it doesn't look like that Facebook, you know, even after the, the congressional hearings and, and, and all of this drama with... with uh, delete Facebook campaign. Delete Facebook campaign and everything. It doesn't look, it, it's going down. And it looks like it will stay for some time. And I, if, if we are thinking like about like some main strategies, like what to do, how to overcome, it looks like that, that there may be some kind of three different ways that are, that are now being uh, uh, presented. The, the one, it's kind of radical. And it said it, this kind of neo-ludist approach of like giving up technology and going to the nature and building your wooden cabin and stuff like this. Another one is to try to fix the system from within. And this is what we are seeing in, for example, in European Union, GDPR, let's try to make the you know, new, better rules and then try to limit and, uh, those companies and, and stuff like this, or to try to do a lot of different intervention within, within Facebook sphere. But for me, this, this kind of, you know, like making a protest against Facebook on Facebook, you know, like it's kind of crazy. And then there is the third uh, way, I think. It's like, okay, let's abandon this one and try to, to make a new one. And then you, there is like within the, the open source community, there was like a lot of different nice examples like diaspora, but we saw it's not so easy to, to, to do that. And then the question is like how because they said, okay, leave Facebook, delete your Facebook account. And the main point is, what is the social price that you are paying for leaving the Facebook? So we are stuck into some kind of new, this kind of new neo-colonial practice that goes really deep and, and creates this social price that is now maybe too high to go out.